please welcome with me now the OPEC Secretary General, His Excellency. Put your hands together for His Excellency Haitam I. Guys. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Excellency, Mr. President, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, ably represented today by the Minister of Information and National Orientation. Your Excellencies, Ministers of State, Oil and Gas, my dear brothers, other ministers, present and permanent secretaries, Group CEO, NNPC, my dear brother, Dr. Omar Farouk Ibrahim, Secretary General of APO, Chairman of the IPPG, Heads of Government Agencies, Heads of Energy and Related Industries, Esteemed Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Ambassadors, Distinguished Invited Guests, All Protocols Duly and Respectfully Observed, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen, Distinguished Guests, it's my great honor to be standing in front of you today representing the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, and to participate in this seventh edition of the Nigeria International Energy Summit. I extend my best wishes to all esteemed guests and attendees today. I also congratulate the organizers, sponsors, exhibitors, and everyone who has been associated with making this distinguished event another continuation and a continuing resounding success. It was my great privilege and honor to meet with the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria yesterday, His Excellency President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. The President's sponsorship and support of today's event signifies the importance that the government of Nigeria attaches to this prestigious event, as well as the leadership role that Nigeria plays on matters of international energy policy, international energy security. We are grateful to the President and the Government of Nigeria for its valuable support to the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. Although this is the first opportunity I have had to come to Abuja in person since assuming the role of Secretary General, Nigeria is such an integral part of OPEC and such an essential part of our organization. I almost can say that I feel like I'm home from home. Your world-famous Nigerian hospitality has made me and my team members really feel welcome. So thank you very much. Successive generations of Nigerian public servants and captains of industry have contributed to making the OPEC-Nigeria relationship a success. For their own role in this common endeavor, I would especially like to recognize and thank His Excellency Senator Heineken, Lokpopiri Minister of State Petroleum Resources, and Nigeria's Head of Delegation to OPEC, Ambassador Gabriel Tanimu Aduda, the Governor to OPEC, and Mr. Mili Kiari, Nigeria's national representative and member of OPEC's Economic Commission Board. The NIES is one of the leading industry events in Nigeria and indeed in the continent of Africa. OPEC takes great pride in its strong and enduring African connections and identity. You may know that half of the members of our organization are African countries. And this includes the most populous African country, Nigeria, and the geographically largest by area, Algeria. We're also very privileged to count on Congo, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon, and Libya as member countries. Additionally, two African countries have joined the historic Declaration of Cooperation, widely known as the OPEC Plus Agreement, between OPEC and 10 non-OPEC producing countries, and those two are Sudan and South Sudan. We are also in talks with many more other African countries, some here today, and some that I will not disclose because the discussions are still ongoing. 
Many significant meetings in our organization's history took, take, took place sorry, in African cities. In fact, Nigeria hosted the 31st meeting of the OPEC conference in Lagos here all the way back in 1972. And the 143rd extraordinary meeting of the OPEC conference convened here in Abuja back in December 2006. Elsewhere, the ninth meeting of the OPEC conference took place in Tripoli, Libya in 1965, while other important meetings and conferences have been held in Algiers, including the very first OPEC summit in Oran, in Luanda, and in Libreville. Indeed, this may come as a surprise to many of you. The idea for our organization was actually conceived in Africa, in Egypt. It was at the Cairo Yacht Club back in 1959 that the agreement was founded and forged that paved the way for the creation of OPEC a year later in 1960 at the Baghdad Conference in September 1960. Nigeria's role in OPEC's past and present is a tremendous source of pride, but we are also acutely conscious of Nigeria and Africa's critical role in the future of our organization and the energy industry more broadly. Africa has a young and vib vibrant population. By 2045, the Middle East and Africa regions both will add about 723 million people to the global population. This is according to OPEC's World Oil Outlook forecast, the WU. We anticipate a very bright future for Africa's oil industry with substantial opportunities for growth. The continent is home to five of the top 30 oil producing countries around the world with proven reserves of more than 120 billion barrels at the end of 2022. Africa clearly brims with potential. And I'll expand further on these points in the panel later on this afternoon. Mr. President, Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, allow me to conclude by once again thanking the Nigerian government for facilitating my participation in this great event today. OPEC is immensely proud to count Nigeria as a member country. The future of our strong relationship is bright, and we look forward to many more decades of a successful partnership between Nigeria and OPEC. Thank you very much.